Hello viewers, this is the second take here, that's why my door is open. Uh, in this video we're going to try doing something crazy. Normally I fly with a uh, joystick and uh, throttle. Today I'm going to try mouse and keyboard for science purposes. So I've spawned the uh, rescue Pisces, we're going to take off from the station. We're in Cruel 3 I believe it was. And we're going to try something a little crazy. I have absolutely, positively no idea what's going to happen. It could be anything from amazing new uh, development to my computer explodes in flames. If it's a second one, I'm going to expect Chris Roberts to spend his Christmas money on buying me a new system. So, wish me luck on that. You are here to launch. Clear to launch, they're gonna make me launch the other direction, aren't they? Okay, so we'll pick this thing up a little bit. No, they're gonna make me launch upwards. Whew, that's a relief. For a second, I thought I was gonna have to turn around. Alright, so as you can see, I'm flying with the mouse. Uh, we'll go into cruise control. We'll get a little bit of velocity up. And I never particularly like chasing that little marker on the screen when I'm flying with the Thank mouse. You. We'll put the landing gear up. Then we'll try the magic keybind. Okay, yeah, that's kind of interesting, I suppose. Okay, so you notice you don't see that little marker in the middle of the screen anymore. I might have to turn up the sensitivity a little up to work it on this. But essentially what I've done is I've used the uh, toggle for uh, virtual joystick off and on. Now, I'm not telling you what the magic keybind is because it doesn't have a default keybind. You'll have to go into your uh, settings and adjust that. But it seems to be much easier to line up on particular stuff. You will have to to uh, move your mouse more. And in the, uh, the <coughs> virtual joystick mode, when you pull your mouse off center. Oh, what have I done there? Head look. When you pull your mouse off center, it'll keep turning until it gets to that marker. So until you put that back into the center, it'll never stop spinning. Whereas if you toggle that uh, virtual stick off, when you stop moving your mouse, it stops moving the craft. It'll basically just go where you put it, just like crosshairs on a, uh, on a gun. So that might be preferable to you. I'm going to show you where it is, and I'm going to try to turn up my mouse sensitivity a little bit and see whether or not that works uh, for flying. So what you'll need to do for that is go into your options, go into your key bindings, uh, make sure you're set for flight, go into uh, advanced uh, key binds, find vehicles movement, which is there, and then you want to go to this cycle mouse mode, uh, VJoy or relative. And it's the uh, relative, which is the one uh, that uh, is kind of the new one that uh, I, for one, did not know about. So hopefully that's going to be a little bit more useful. Uh, mouse sensitivity curves. Let's turn that up a little bit. Normally I don't make my mouse overly sensitive. All right, now I don't know what this is going to be like for low-level flight or high-speed flight or anything like that. Oh, cruise control's off. So this might make it a little bit more like uh, your average flight sim. Whether it's something that you're going to uh, prefer, I'm not entirely sure. But it's definitely worth giving a try to. And you can also use that in conjunction with your um, decouple mode.
weapon system destroyed. Huh. Can't imagine how that happened. And if you set a uh, button on your mouse to, to toggle between them, you could even use, uh, like, uh, go back and forth between them, depending on whether you're trying to get uh, accuracy for aiming or whether you want to be able to uh, come around in a circle reasonably quick. And in fact, that might be a better system to use, is if you've got an extra mouse button, map it onto one of those. And you can tell whenever you've uh, toggled away from it uh, because you'll lose that little marker. Yeah, I kind of like that for uh, locking in on targets. For flying, this might be the more efficient way of, uh, of operating. But for actually trying to, uh, to home in on something, I think the uh, VJ, uh, v virtual joystick off is maybe the preferable uh, option. And by the way, when you start flying at this kind of speed around a station, there's really only going to be one end result. And it's unlikely to be happiness in playing with kittens and puppies. But if you were smart, you set your uh, spawn point to be a station. So you'll end up back here in short order. Anyways, that's uh, probably about all we need to cover in this video. Um, I hadn't tried it until now, but it seems to be pretty effective. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is rather than mapping it onto my keyboard, I'll probably map it onto the mouse so that I can quickly move between it. And that way you don't have to keep your mouse sensitivity set super high. You can use that for your precision aim and then use the joystick mode for your, uh, for your normal flight modes. All right, before things get too crazy, I'm going to uh, shut the video down here. We're going to call that it, and hopefully that's going to be some help uh, for you in your flying. Um, come back next time.